In this question, it says, muscle biopsies performed on a old male with proximal mass. No abnormalities are found on light micro, but on electron microscopy of the specimen, no T tubules in some muscle fibers. Okay, so what is the, in the sarcoplasmic reticulum of the sarcolemma, right? So this patient has no T tubules in some muscle fibers. Which of the following is most likely consequence of this observed finding in the affected muscle cell? So what happens? T tubules is going to generate action potential inside the muscle. So let's say this is the action potential coming down through the T tubules and it um, stimulates different um, voltage gated calcium channels. Those ca calcium channels, uh, dihydropyridine those dihydropyridine receptors uh, stimulates the ryanodine receptors which releases the calcium the calcium comes and binds to troponin and once it binds to troponin the tropomyosin moves the move get gets out of the way and the actin and the myosin binding happens right so imagine that there is no t tubules imagine there is no t tubules like that what's going to happen we're just going to have you know the circle lemma so that kind of propagation down the t-tubules is not going to happen if that kind of propagation doesn't happen then muscle contraction is not going to be proper so proper muscle contraction won't happen if proper muscle contraction won't happen it won't be a function very functional it will be it will do some you know some calcium would still bind but it won't be a proper muscle contraction so let's see what they say um, what are some of the options that are available to us okay so choice a says no contraction in response to intracellular calcium it won't be no contraction contraction would be less but it won't be no contraction choice b uncoordinated contraction of my fibrils sure that sounds like a good answer to me what about choice d Poor force generation on repeated stimulation. You know, repeated, it's not about repeated stimulation. It's about how much calcium in ge is generated in one stimulation. Repeated stimulation is going to cause poor, poor, uh, poor force generation. Well, we're not, that's not the focus of the question. The focus of the question is one stimulation does how much of work. So that I don't think is a possible answer. Now, what about choice D, impaired relaxation after a single contraction? Impaired relaxation is only going to happen if there is no phosphatase to break the myosin and the actin apart. And also, there is going to be binding of ATP to break them apart, right? So impaired relaxation has nothing to do with loss of T-tubules. So again, that is not a correct answer. What about choice, choice E? Impair energy production during contraction? Hmm, it has, you know, contraction has nothing to do with generation of energy. So again, that is not a possible answer. So in this case, the answer is going to be B, uh, uncoordinated contraction of the myofibrils. Okay, so let's talk about t tuples a little bit more, just a little bit more. Really, the function of t tuples. okay, so this is the circle lemma and you have t tuples running down like so you know they're uniform and the function of the t tubules is really the fact that so that the action potential reaches the muscle fibers and so that the action pot potential reaches each single muscle fibers at the same time if each action potential does not reach the muscle fibers at the same time how would there be coordination? If you do not give orders to your workers to do a job properly, and at the same time, they're just gonna show up at, let's say eight o'clock, the other is gonna show up at 10 o'clock. So the, you have to tell them, no, you, everyone needs to be here at eight o'clock, and this is the job that's need to be done in, in, in two hours of time. So everyone will show up on time. If you tell them different things, they're gonna show up in different times, right? So this is something like that, that the job of TT builds is like the, their little cubicles, right? And you're sending emails to every single cubicle telling them you need to get the job done at the same time. You, you need to push at the same time. You need to get the work going, the momentum going, going at the same time. That is really the job of TT builds. Also, the job of TT, TT builds is kind of, you know, uh, maximizing surface area. 
but that's also there, but that is not really um, related th to this particular question.